Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Now, uh, a, a feature was recently added to Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, which uh, some of you will probably like, and uh, something which will be a great uh, addition to any park that you want other people to watch. So basically what this uh, function allows you to do is to add uh, messages to the news bar. Now, in order to get this to work, you need to be able to open the console. So in options, um, somewhere over here, there's a button to uh, enable debugging functions. Um, yeah, it's here under the wrench. It says here, enable debugging tools. This uh, has to be on for it to work. All right, then you can open the in-game console. You can either use the key above the tab key. It's usually tilde key, but you can also open it here, here through the debug tools. Here it says show console. So then you see this uh, blue screen here. Now, Here's already some text, because I already uh, played with it a bit. But in order to uh, get news to show, we type the following command, add underscore news underscore item. Now when you type that, it shows a little menu. Um, basically it shows what you have to type um, in order to get it to work. So. First you, uh, you type add news item, then you type a space, then you have to type a number for uh, one of these items. Then after that you have to type your message. Then after that you have to type your association. Now I will explain uh, what all of these are. Now first, um, well, the type news item zero, um, I couldn't get it to work. Um, so what you want to do is uh, use one of the other types. Now, if you want to uh, do a simple news message without anything uh, attached to it, just use news item blank. So that's what we're going to do. So we type add news item. We want a blank news item, so we type five. Then we need to type our message. It has to be uh, in between quotes. So for example, we can uh, type hello world. Then we end with a quote another space and this uh, message has nothing associated to it so just type a zero after it and there we go now there's a message shown here hello world so yeah <laughs> i see i could uh, point to a coordinate maybe that's uh, what the zero is for i'm not really uh, sure but yeah this is a good way to uh, display uh, a message in the news uh, in the news item now we can also do this for uh, for peeps. So uh, for example, uh, message type three is news item peep. So if we do add news item three, actually first uh, I'm going to look up the ID of the peep which I want to uh, uh, show in the message. For example, we have uh, two entertainers here: entertainer one, entertainer two. So if I want to include them in the message. I have to look up their ID. So therefore I type staff list. Then the console gives me a list of the staff I have in the park with their IDs. So I see here um, entertainer2 is staff ID 002. So then you can just type a 2. So um, I want a peep to be shown in the news item. So I do add news item. We want a news item peep, so we do three. And um, for our message, uh, let's do how the how. And um, we want to attach it to entertainer two, which had uh, ID, which uh, which ID was two, so we type a two here. Now in our message says how the how here. And here you can see uh, Entertainer 2. And when I click it, it uh, it bring it opens up the window for Entertainer 2. So yeah, you can do this for any do this for any of your staff members. You can also do it for guests if you know their ID. But I don't know of an easy way to find the ID of a guest. So yeah, this is easiest to do for uh, staff. Now you can also do this for rides. Um, for example, here we have a merry-go-round, here we have a haunted house. If I want to see their ID, we type ride, I believe it's rides list. Yep. So we type rides list. 
And then we can see a list of our rides. So we have merry-go-round 1, which has ID 000, or a haunted house 1, which has ID 001. So if we want to show a message which has one of these rides in it, we type add news item. Uh, we want to show the ride in the message, so we type 1. Our message will be haunted house. And we want to attach it to the ride with the ride ID 1. So we type a 1 in the end. And there we go. Now it shows a message here which says haunted house. If we click it, then uh, it brings us the window for haunted house 1. Okay, now um, you may be wondering uh, how is this uh, useful? Well, I will show you. So in order to uh, use this in the proper way, uh, you'll have to pause the game first. So let's pause the game. And now I will uh, simply copy all these three last messages that we uh, sent out. So, um, by the way, if you press up here, you can uh, bring up your last uh, typed commands. So that will save you some typing. So first I'll type uh, the message uh, with hello world. Then we add the message which had the entertainer in it. And we finish off with the message with the haunted house. The game is still paused. And now I will save the game. So for that, um, let's use this save um, get good news. All right, let's go back to the menu. Oh wait, first I'll unpause, then we go back to the menu. Now, when we now open the, the save file, let's see what happens. So, and now when we open the save file, the game will show several messages to us. So first it shows hello world. Then it says howdy how, the message with the entertainer. And after that, now it shows a message with the haunted house. So yeah, if you have, uh, if you have made a map for a contest, this will be a great way to uh, point your viewers towards several rides or entertainers right in the beginning of the game. Or you can give them a little bit of story uh, about the park. I think it's a nice uh, way to add some uh, interaction to the, uh, to the park. Or you can make it really annoying if that's what you want. Now there are several limitations to uh, doing this through the console. That's because uh, you cannot add any format uh, code here. You normally need a curly brace for that. Uh, that's what the, what the game uh, uses uh, in-game in, uh, in its text. It's impossible to type those in the console. So when you do a message here, it will always uh, have the green text. So yeah, until someone makes a plugin for this, which makes this uh, easy, uh, you will always have a green text here. So yeah, this might be a little bit uh, limiting. So yeah, this is something that will probably be added in the future. But for now, this uh, for sure um, yeah, will already enable you to do uh, cool stuff with it. Alright, I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's useful for you. And I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.